Judy and Ravi, the village board making significant personnel moves tonight, including placing Dalton's top cop on administrative leave. The meeting featuring chaotic moments that have become a hallmark of this village. The level of the breaching of public truck is, is sickening. The meeting nearly ended before it really began, after residents who'd already taken their seats. You guys have to go through the metal detectors so that everyone is secure in the building. Were ordered by Mayor Tiffany Henyard to pass through metal detectors. You're just so petty and unprofessional. How are you okay with that? In what's become a monthly ritual in this village under federal investigation and facing multiple lawsuits, residents called for Henyard's resignation. We deserve a mayor that truly cares about our village and not a mayor that sees our village as her personal playground. At the meeting, which was marked by repeated disruptions and people being let out, the board laying off eight village employees, citing village finances and limiting village credit card spending, trustees and the mayor sparring over money. Speaking to the accounting department, we are in a financial disaster. Sometimes people have to follow the leader. Because sometimes the, the leader, the leader is the vision. It is like, the board also voting to place Deputy Chief Lewis Lacey on administrative leave. Exactly why, the board didn't say publicly. This is political retaliation. This heated night, leaving many shaking their heads. Y'all are being hoodwink, bamboozle. That's okay. Yeah, continue. Okay. Okay. Let me go on. Okay. Trustee Belcher. All right. Trustee all right. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. So we can take the road. Thank you. Trustee Stan Brown. You're not here? Okay. Trustee Tammy Brown. Present. Trustee House. Present. Trustee Holmes. Doesn't appear to be here. Trustee Norwood. Present. We okay. have a quorum. Thank you very much. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. Good evening, residents. Um, thank you for coming out this evening. Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for um, people acting out of order this evening. Um, when we come into a board meeting, I just want to set the rules for you. You have to be in order. You cannot yell loud. You cannot say um, bad things to people. Everybody's entitled to their opinion as it relates to who they like, who they support, what it is they want to talk to this body about. I need you guys to respect their time and give them their three minutes. Um, is there someone? Where's Medina? I don't see Medina. I don't see Jackie. Do y'all have someone doing the time since y'all started the meeting? Y'all have somebody doing the time? Okay. And do y'all have a sign-in sheet? Is there a sign-in sheet? Okay, so uh, residents, uh, for your safety and for our safety, we're going to have people go through the metal detectors. You can stay. Hold on. Hold on. You have to listen. You have to listen. You can say, y'all can say no all you want. It's not up to you. As well. Okay, is it on now? Okay, sorry. There, okay, well, I, you never know with, with more over there. I mean, that was petty. Just prove how petty you were. They had a legal right to meeting, and you shut off the mic. What did you think that was going to accomplish? The meeting still went forward, so not sure why you did that. You're just so petty and unprofessional. How were you okay with that? How are you okay with yourself? Okay, I'll just repeat what she said. She said, on our tax dollars. I mean, why do you do that? Why do you think it's okay to do that? I mean, does your relationship camaraderie mean that much that you are okay with selling your soul? Lacey, like I said, you know, it's, it's crazy the energy you bring. It's just so negative. These meetings without you were just, I'm not going to say they were great, but it was just good not having you here. I mean, it was good not having that energy, your negative energy. My family then lived in this village for well over 30 years. I watched back in 1991, after they moved here in 88, my grandfather passed away in that home in Dalton. And just recently in October, I had to bury my grandmother. And the fact that I'm watching every day while I'm hauling hazardous materials, 
things that people need and watching as this village being ran into the ground by this woman is pissing me off. I'm watching as this township is being ran into the ground by this woman. I'm watching as my alma mater, South Suburban College, a college that gave me a chance to go to college and be able to get my degree being scammed by this woman. All these things I take very personally, very personally indeed. I love this town. I love this township. I love my school. And I will be damned if I allow anyone, it particularly you, ma'am, scam, destroy, run into the ground. And while you're sitting there with your thousands upon thousands of dollars, the people of this village, the people of this township, the students at South Suburban College suffer. Absolutely not. I sit here and watch as one of your trustees sexually assault a woman and still sits on the board. He might not be here today because he's tired of hearing about it, but we're not going to be tired of saying it. Andrew Holmes assaulted a woman. He belongs in jail, along with you, Ms. Hannard, and your wigs. Because we all know where the damn money's going. Uh, it's I, going to her wigs. Officer. The, the, the fact that so, these police officers murdered Alexis Wilson and continue to walk the streets and police these streets is an abomination. Her Wilson, name is Alexis Wilson. She was murdered by the Dalton Police Department. Wilson, this is crap. Okay. Give this township. Time, his time is up. Oh, 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 oh his time I is up. Three minutes. I'm still telling. Okay. All right. Next sir, your time. Your time oh. is up, sir. Oh, okay. Wait, next no, person. A woman that All right. Health sir. Just allow. Me. Sir, yeah. you're gonna be escorted out the building, no, sir. No, I'll leave. Okay. I'll be right outside with All the rest of right. the people. Okay. okay. The Officer, the escort him out. Me. All right. Is there anyone else? Anyone else want to address the body? Hello, everyone. Um, so I wasn't gonna get up and comment just yet, but I just wanted to say that um, on the back of what he said, this is really ridiculous. Um, as a disabled resident in this community, um, the fact that you would even make us get up out of our chairs after we've already sat down and got comfortable to even go back through a metal detector because you wasn't here on time to say that, oh, they should have been let in. No, you should have been here to let us in. If you wasn't here to let us in and we were let in, that's on you. You should have somebody as a backup because you're the, the chief, right? So why is it that all of the residents have to go back out and come back in and be humiliated for her? For her, because she's scared. What about us? What about our fears? What about our tax dollars? What about the molest I mean, the rape that Andrew Holmes did or the sexual assault? Everybody is hurting behind you. Don't turn my mic off. Turn your mic off. Anyway, make up. Ma'am, if you're going to talk, you're running out. Okay. Turn my mic off. Ma'am. Your mic is working my dick. one of those non red clear because you think you're click not for 50 here I'm here for the village of Dalton. I am here for Fania Hoops. It's on record that I'm here to ask Andrew Holmes, did he sexually assault that woman? Did he drug her? Ma'am, you're revoking your time. If you want to talk, go ahead and talk. But if you, you're revoking your time. Mr. Lacey, 
Mr. Lacey, I would finish my time, sir, if you would stop interrupting me. Okay, just keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking. All I have to say is this village deserves so much more than what it's getting. All right, that ends public comment. Next on the agenda is, we have general announcements, so I'm gonna uh, move it forward to do the swearing in so that we can allow the families to go and celebrate their loved one. Um, if you would, we'll start with the fire department. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Dalton Fire Department Administration is seeking the advice and consent of the Mayor and the Village Board of Trustees to approve the promotional vacancy of one fire lieutenant at the August 5th, 2024 Executive Board meeting. The Dalton Fire Department currently has two vacancies at fire lieutenant. As of this date, Engineer Ian Cosgrove is the only member available to fill a vacancy as the aforementioned qualified member. Engineer Ian Cosgrove has been filling the vacancy as a temporary lieutenant since March 23rd, 2024. So, Mayor and the board, I am seeking a motion to officially, formally promote Ian Cosgrove to fire lieutenant. That's for the record. On to your comment. It's not a back so and for forth. The, well, it won't be a back and forth, on, but I just clerk, need to. Hold on. You don't have the floor. Clarification. You just said you want to follow rules. I didn't give you the floor. I, I, so my statement was my statement. I allow you to make your statement, so and we're going to move on. You're not the only body here. I okay, think clerk, you should respect you us just, and allow I, each I, of not us a back and forth. to speak. It's not a back and forth. Um, we're moving on. We have one next department. On agenda, Thank you, Stacey Correll, who faithfully submit a report because he understands Ron what the law Smith, is. You have the floor. He understands what the law is. Ron, you and have the I floor. am the keeper of the records in case you guys don't know. You have the so floor. the records stay with me. Thank you so and much. And I'm done. Thank you. And that was for Ron. Items that had previously been taken off of old lists not be included or be put on separate lists. So the board actually had five different lists of bills. Um, there were two lists that the board, um, to my knowledge, was comfortable with and three lists that uh, will remain for further discussion. So I want to give an acknowledgement and just a little bit of clarity because I know during this time, um, I generally have a list that um, we can hopefully make this a smoother meeting. So thank you, Trustee Stan. Okay, and with that being said, is this the list that has Otterson's bills in it? You're saying the list just read? Yeah. Um, you got I, switch lists saying which one you want to approve or don't approve. Otison. The yeah, Otison is not on this list, no. He's not on this AP warrant list. Uh, let me, I'm looking right now just to make sure. I do not see him on this list, but of course, you know, I would like him to be paid. Which um, list or who sent that list to you guys? He is uh, on this list. Is he on this one? Yes. Oh, oh yep. Yes, as, he is on. Um, yes, he is on. As this well list. as Delgado. 100, yeah, 108,000. The village attorney, I still draw that all the time. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> Odison is legislative counsel. Yes, so. Odison and Delgado are both on this list. Okay. So you guys know that I'm totally against paying you guys, attorney. Um, you guys have bills on the list as it relates to political issues. And you guys know you can't use government funds for political fields. I stated this and stated this, and you guys constantly put it up here for a vote. Um, again, that is illegal. I keep saying this, and I'm putting it out there for the record. And I will advise you guys not to move forward with it. So, that's it for me. Thanks. All right. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Motion passed. All right. So next on the yeah, yes, and they don't know if she yes for. Remember, they say we ain't got no money, but they found money for a lawyer. 
Remember that. Next on the agenda items now, a, B, is and there C. a motion to approve items A, B, and C? So moved. Is there a second? second. Is there a motion second? Any discussion? Uh, yes, if I may. Right, go ahead. Um, a and B, we talked about the just for a little bit more uh, clarity on the credit card um, spending changes as well as freeze. Essentially, it would it would only allow for the director of administrative services to uh, use the credit card only on items that the board approves, and it puts a cap on any transaction of five thousand uh, dollars. There was consideration on completely cutting it off, but there are some bills that must be paid. Well, it's most convenient to be paid with a credit card. Uh, it causes great tears. So we did not want to put put the staff into a much more difficult place. So we wanted to put in some safeguards that can be reasonable for day-to-day -day activities while still acknowledging some of the challenges we feel are with the credit cards. Thank you. All right, Colorado. Trust, Trustee Belcher. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Motion passed to approve right. Next on the agenda is I'm discussion and consideration. I'm still talking there. You said motion passed. I was I was still talking. Okay, go you ahead. started talking. And I'm just saying motion was approved to approve items A, B, and C. Thank you. Um, next, discussion and consideration to approve the sale of the village property located at 14900 Greenwood, Nellie Fitness Center. All right, it's discussion. Any discussion? I make a motion. A motion to. Okay, so we're discussing it. It's a discussion. Okay, so um, I am the one that placed this on the agenda. And the reason that I placed this on the agenda after having a meeting with uh, Kasperic's office, uh, Lauren, who is one of the account holders of our, um, everyone know that we are um, strapped for cash and the village of Dalton has the Melanie Fitness Center that is not being occupied. Um, we see it used for events and parties and everything else. Um, there was a Dalton police sign placed on it, but we do not have the funds to make it a Dalton police department. So I am asking that we move forward to try to see if we can put this property on to that. Not only, um, it's also a liability. If no one is aware, it's not actually a police station. People would actually go there thinking that it is a police station. Okay. So, if I'm so as it relates to Melly Fitness, um, I still believe it should be a police station. Um, our goal is to turn it into that. The board see fit that they would like to sell the property. I still think the people should have a say so on that. I know when we did put the sign up, a lot of residents was happy that the police station was closer on Sibley and then that they can get to calls a lot faster. So my goal is still to do that. And what people not telling you is it is in a TIF district. That's where that police station sits at. And then also uh, when they purchased the sign, um, Chief Lacey, what account did it come out of? Because when they tell you stuff, they don't tell you where money come from, it's what account, or how they was able to afford a sign and turn it into a police station. It's different accounts. It did not come out of the general fund or nothing like that. But they have to educate you before they just send you off and tell you something to make it sound <laughs> as though it's bad. And then before you start, uh, Chief Lacey, another thing. Uh, we could have been using that area for the longest. I've tried several times to put it on the agenda to allow them to fix the pool so that now the community could utilize it because it's been sitting there and we pay for it just to sit there. And we could have been giving swimming lessons to all the people in the community. But these are the things that I fight for that I would like to see within Dalton, not just get up here and say, hey, uh, today I just want to sell Melanie's. Why? It's been sitting there for three and a half years. So why now you just want to sell melodies? Every time we come up with a plan, it's always somebody. Excuse me, guys, if you could, for one minute. You got to hear both sides. So please, for one second. So, All right, calm down. So Thank what you. I'm saying Thank to you. you guys is that we would like to see a police station there. We have two fire departments. Uh, two stations. So now we would like to do the same as relates to one is right here park and the other was off of civilly. That's what we would like to do. All right, Mayor. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, since I um, put it on the agenda and I would love um, for the deputy chief with all these analysis that y'all did, if it's been three years, why is it not a police station? How much will it cost to turn it over to a police station? Then you stated that you wanted it to, to be a community center. 
for a pool for a pool. You sat here several times and said it'll be free pool for the community. It's not making no money. Y'all just spent all the money and we have to sell it, whether it's in a tip district or not, just so it can go back on the tax roll is what we need. Right now, as Trustee uh, Norwood said, and speaking to the accounting department, we are in a financial disaster. Right now, on the agenda that she has, we are transferring money from the tip money just to make out for bills that need to be paid. So when we go back, what's facts, what's fiction, I ain't never known a person that always got all the facts and everybody else is wrong. But at the end of the day, we have to be realistic. Realistic is there's no more money. Anything we can sell, we need to sell it. If you want to get outside, we'll sell you too. <laughs> but right now, right now, you don't tell me what's out of order and what's not in order. We're not doing that today. You are out of order. So right now, anything that we have asset on and that we can touch that's owned by the village needs to be sold. The pool. We put the pool on there every single board meeting, guys. If you go back and watch the tapes on every single board meeting, it tells you the amount of the pool. And you guys take it out and never pay to fix the pool. The pool would have been up and running by now. It's been hot as ever outside. And the kids would have loved to just cool off and have something to do. And then also learn how to swim. I don't know why I keep telling y'all that. You know the number one thing that we don't know how to do is swim. So what we have to do is teach our kids Quiet. how to swim. And I, and I mean that. Right. So I just Officer. want people. Officer. Okay, okay, guys. Guys, this Officer. is between us. Y'all have to come down. You're here to listen to All what right. we have to say. Oh, I know how to swim. Know that. So that's why I keep pushing it because my parents put me in swimming lessons. So I want our kids to have the same things that I had growing up in this community. Because for those that don't know, it was the in-ground swimming pool here in the village of Dawson. For those that don't know the history, learn the history and you'll understand why I keep fighting for certain things, which is a pool for the kids. But everybody don't got the same dreams as I have as it relates to the vision for the village of Dawson. So my discussion is to place this for a committee of the whole to move forward and looking to see how we can return those three Chevy Tahoes in one expedition. Um, we can definitely discuss it because I don't have any information as it relates to what you're stating because you know you throw a lot of things up here that don't be true. It's simple. So, wait a minute, baby. All you have to do Hold is on. multiply. That's your problem. You like <laughs> to talk when others talk. Let me get it out. I was quiet while you said everything you wanted to say. Now let me get mad. So when we come to a meeting, everyone's prepared, everyone has documentation, and everyone can answer the questions for you. But you guys come to a meeting, you just throw something up here, and then you just think people should know the answer, and they don't even have whatever you're talking about in front of you. We talked about this at the okay, last Thank you board. so much. I just would like to say for clarity, since you said that I give a lot of false information. It's simple math. I know how much $149,000 times, <laughs> times five. You know, I, it's simple math. You so. Don't. That's fine. I, I'm fine. I just want to make sure that we do approve it to go to discussion because right. those are things that we need to move forward and return. All right. Um, and just for everybody are uh, crystal clear, y'all know we have a ton of vehicles as it relates to the police department, fire department. Y'all know that. So it amazes me how you come and y'all do clickbait and point out some things and say, hey, I want to return this. I want to return that. And there's several different things that didn't happen in this village. But that's why I said you have to get clarity before y'all put something on the agenda so that we're not going back and forth just to kick the can down the road to say, hey, we're going to talk about this at another meeting. So what was the point of putting it on here? But we still got to talk about it later. Right. We still didn't discuss anything because it was nothing given. All <laughs> I'm saying to you guys is I don't like to waste time. We come to a meeting and we waste time. Nothing get accomplished because it's just something on the agenda and you still didn't get your answer and we still just went back and forth for nothing. That is my point. Synopsis, please. Thank you. Moving forward. On August the 7th, uh, 2023, um, you proposed that we raise um, some of the fines in the village. And one of them was the grass fee. So I remember it was clear yesterday. Um, you told us that there, that there were a lot of abandoned properties in the village and that the banks weren't doing the maintenance on it. And then Trustee Stan Brown, he um, seconded that uh, it was becoming a problem so that we should do something 
like increase the fine so that we could well make um, or so that the banks can have more of an incentive to make sure that the grass was cut. And I was totally for um, that in terms of the banks. But what we weren't told is that the $500 fee is for um, for everyone. So um, I have landlords that's calling me stating that their tenants are being presented with $500 fines so for um, lack of grass cutting. And that wasn't what I personally agreed to. I thought that the plan was to ticket the, to go up in fees for the banks only. So now that we have uh, tenants or landlords calling, I like to take this to the committee of the whole so that we can have discussions so that we can make some changes and discuss it with the residents in regards to who these fines, um, let's specify the, the difference between the banks and the landlords and the, the homeowners in regards to the, the fines. So okay. I'm definitely We're fine with going over this and clearing it up, um, but also you guys have to take responsibility for not paying vendors uh, their money for the high grass. The high grass is scattered through our community. Y'all know we have over 400 vacancies, and y'all know that public works cannot cut all the vacant properties. And you guys have to work better at uh, oh, coming up with a plan because right now we don't have it as it relates to from you. You guys come here, you dictate and tell us what you guys want us to do, but there's no plan in place from the board that wants to tell us how to run the day-to-day -day, which i keep telling y'all y'all legislate y'all do not govern the day-to-day -day operation but i just wish you guys would pay people their money so that they can come out and cut the high grass thank, thank you mayor for that um so it's just and this is just for the record at this point this is for the residents i find it uh interesting that she continues to act as if she does not know what we're referring to when we talked about the leases i wasn't going to say anything but you signed them so if you sign the leases, how are you unaware of the, le the, the leases in which we are referring to? It's the smoke and the mirrors. I sit here and I said, you know what, Lord, I was going to let it go. But you were the one who brought it to us to increase the fines. So if we had a cow meeting, and this is for the residents, right? Because she keeps saying, oh, um, the trustees this, the trustees that. Let's just so you all know, there's a thing called checks and balances. That's why we're all up here, right? So we really shouldn't even have to go back and forth with who knows what. The goal is for you to run it past the board, which is us here, to tell us what you're doing and then us approve it. What you've been doing is you do everything on your own. And then when we revert it back and say, hey, no, you weren't supposed to do that. You sit here and say, oh, I don't know what you all are referring to. I mean, I have to get back to you on that. Let's stop doing that. What Let's I truly not, believe, trustee, I know, I know. is that you got you. In particular, you know. want to decrease the fines because you got tickets on your house for the high grass. Your bushes won't cut, your grass won't service, right? So you remind me of Trustee Valerie Stubbs that put in an ordinance that put in an ordinance because your grass won't service, right? So you remind me of Trustee Valerie Stubbs that put in an ordinance that put in an ordinance because she didn't want to pay fines for my rental problems. It's the same thing. You guys, please. Why you pick and choose things that's beneficial to you guys that are you. But you're going to talk about this uh, a month ago. You're going to talk, um, please. You're going to talk about this. And again, Valerie Stubbs, that's trusting right there. She's doing it. So that's all I'm going to say. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Talking, um, please, you're gonna Officer. be removed. You're gonna be removed. You cannot, removed. not just talk to her. You will be removed. And again, Valerie Subs, ex trustee, right there. Her, she do things for self. So, back to what I'm saying, you gotta, you have to do better. You have to do better than what you're doing. Okay, you out of order. You need to remove her, remove her, remove her. Y'all, y'all cannot be that out of order. Like, come on now. No. Okay, 
Somebody, you can't be that out of order. You have to remove her. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Because you just too out of order. Please leave. You out of order. Goodbye. You are out of order. Goodbye. You are out of order. You out of order. Okay, goodbye. Valerie Stubbs, you need to exit. Valerie Stubbs, you need to exit. Valerie Stubbs, you need to exit. Can we continue the meeting? Why, why is this even an issue? Come on. Come on. I, I don't know why y'all do that this here in Dalton. Any other village meeting, they remove people out. They, they go. You cannot be that disrespectful. You cannot. We will not take disrespect. Come on. Come on. Okay. If she does not exit in the okay, meeting, we'll go. Guys, it, it up. if you do not exit in the meeting, we'll go. The meeting ain't about to be over. So Mary, 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 you Mary. cannot Mary, shut Mary. down the meeting. Ma'am. Yes. Yeah, Trustee, stop. You stop. You stop. shouldn't have did that. Stop. You shouldn't have did that. Yeah, you please, shouldn't have stop. did that. We can continue with the meeting. All right. Valerie Stubbs, you can go. We can continue with the No, meeting. because y'all got disrespect and y'all think it's okay to continue. Did, did I call anybody? What she just said? What she just said? You what she just said? You called her. That was out of order. You called her. That was out of order. I didn't call her out of her name. I did not. You shouldn't have called her name at all. Miss Stubbs. You should okay, have said on the go. It's time to keep going on with the meeting. It's time to the meeting. Meeting. the meeting will be shut down. The meeting is not going to be shut down. Order, then people will be able to come back in. If all she has to do is exit. She does not the leave. They keep the meeting will down the meeting. Meeting. All she got to do is exit. I'll be on the chopping block. You know. She dies. Can we go? Can we move forward? She gone. Please. Okay. Chief Lacey. Right. Exactly. Okay, clerk. Clerk. So we left off at we on discussion still. The, the we at the we on discussion okay. still. No. Um, this young lady right. has to get up. No, I'm still in discussion. No, we still discussing on the on the yeah. Yeah. on the phone. Yeah. yeah. So, right. So he said. That, uh, so I'm not finished. Finish. Made clarity. She said that you. Uh, I'm not finished with them. No, I know. Let me just get it out. What she okay. She said. You said nobody. 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 Said motion. Motion. No, we're still discussing. Okay. They, okay. I know what I'm talking about. Right, go ahead. I okay. I want to touch bases on that. Uh, hold, hold on. One second, Trustee Brown. Before you finish, I was kind. Of, I was in the midst of referring to something. She and I were kind of having. Before yes, we interrupt this, please, podcast. ladies and gentlemen, can we get this meeting because we behind? We, we lost out from the last meeting. We still. Trustee, have unfortunately, item. until this young lady gets up, the meeting can't. Who? Oh, somebody. We, I don't know. Yeah, please tell them. Right. The fact that these two keep inciting stuff exactly. is crazy. That's exactly what they do. They're doing inciting stuff. Jason, crazy. Sit down. We need to continue on. Um, Mayor, can you please order them to know if y'all want to go over y'all stuff? Y'all can. We could keep going. Why let's have keep to going. Up? Okay, well, let's so, keep going. It's ahead. just a matter of their, they kind of loud. But well, we can keep going. They're loud. Okay. Because it's kind of, 
Okay, if you are, we don't got enough, we're going to No, we're not. We're going to wait until it's flagged because you can call the chief back or something. It's not. Going so on. do you want to sit here or you want to move on? We're going to wait until. It's so not. They will not have be everyone in attention. So we're going to sit here until they well, go. We're just going to sit here because. Right, but you can Trust go ahead. Trustee, all it takes, Trustee, all it takes is for young young lady to get up and leave. That's all it takes. Okay, we so can continue. we can sit here. What what was the I don't know what uh, I need you to get, get But is she quiet now? Yeah. She is, and, and the mayor needs to tell him to bring his ass back here so we can all come him. from her saying this lady name. Could have just not said her name. This is ridiculous. It is. We definitely not stopping the bleed. Okay, it seems as though the young lady has uh, calmed down and everything seemed to be uh, in check. Yes. Okay, so, right. So please, can we resume? That's what I was thinking. Wow, the police. Trustee Norwood, can we skip to M? Oh, hold on, hold on one second. So let me let me finish real quick. Trustee Belcher, we might as well sit until we have everybody's attention because okay, she's gone. Okay. They ain't getting paid. Don't worry about it, Dan. They ain't getting paid. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So, um, as I was saying, we, we were talking about, and I just think that it's funny how you find the need to deflect. Because if my grass was as tall as the Sears Tower, it still wouldn't compensate for the amount of money that you're wasting on taxpayers' dollars. So it still would not add up to the millions of dollars that you're spending on first-class flights, the millions of dollars that you're spending on parties. The million dollars you're spending on rent cars that you don't remember renting. So, with that being said, let's have a move this to the committee of the whole, and hopefully we can talk about this with the residents so that we could discuss fines, so that they won't the this administration won't keep increasing your fines because she just won't stop spending and she won't prioritize the spending. So she'll just continue to spend the money and then increase the fines to make you guys pay. Uh, for the record, people that say things about me, I want you to prove it because, like I said. Facts versus fiction. Y'all say parties, and I do nothing but unity and gatherings here in the community. When they do it, when they do it, they say it, the party. They do the same thing I do, right? But when I do it, y'all claim it's a party. Y'all say first class fights. Please show me here in the village of Dalton where I did a first class fight. <laughs> I want you to show me that receipt, please, and thank you. So, for the record, I just want you to say you don't say the two body of governments that I'm over, they mix them up. We talking about yeah, you mix them up too. Hold on, we're not talking to you. When it comes to the village of Dalton, please show me the stuff that y'all put up at the meeting for clickbait and got no truth to what you're saying, no fact to what you're saying. But y'all say it and throw it in the air. That's not right. And that's why I tell you, residents, stay woke. Because them, they will sit here and sing you off and just say anything as most other trustees do. They just talk with no facts. All right, moving on. Colorado. Figure out if we have animal control, and if not, what we'd have to do to um, start it back up. So you know we do have animal control. You know that if you call, we will come and we will remove the animal. 
prime example. Um, you had an animal on your block that was loose. It was a pit. Uh, you went on Facebook or some social media to my hey guys, it's a pit lo loose. Watch yourself instead of calling the village of Dalton. The resident then called us the village of Dalton, like they should have, like you should have. And we showed up and showed out and removed the pit bull. And guess what we found? A abandoned house that had, what, a prostitution ring, uh, three vacant um, cars. I forget what the cars were. Hellcats. What was that? Uh, stolen. Stolen. The high performance cars are stolen. Real, hell real. Cats. At the next door to where trustee Norwood lives. So all these things do happen. But when you guys call us, we do show up. And we do do our job, but people get up here, like I said, things clickbait, everything's about campaigning. We do show up and we remove the okay, Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I got two questions. First off, when was the last time the vehicle was used? The vehicle was used probably about maybe a week ago. I okay. Know Somebody in the audience call the police department and see if they got animal control. Girl, why don't you tell them to call because, 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 oh, because let me let me explain why I said that, Mayor, because I'm talking, I got the floor right now. Last week, there was some animals out. They called the police department, and the police department said, we don't have animal control anymore. So I don't understand why these people lie so much when it is 21,000 people in Dawson, and oh, mysteriously a week ago it was used, but the other day he wanted to transfer it to a transport a car, whatever it is. And I just don't understand it. If it's not a, a working and functioning department, say it's not a working, functioning department, but why y'all lying? Y'all sitting here lying to these people. It makes no sense. Okay, it makes no sense know. that she sits here and lie like that. I just can't stand. I'm gonna let her know. talk now. So, she lies so much, so, but she want to say somebody else lying. But where are you? Oh, that lie. Oh, we talking about living your mama's house. You got three hundred thousand dollars. Who the biggest lie? You guys, stop it, trust me. Please stop talking about somebody lying. You always lying. Okay, oh, and you lying about you live, you live in Dalton when you know you don't. You don't live in Dalton. <laughs> get get Girl, it right. God. Get it right. Trustee Norwood. Grants that require audits, $6.8 million that we have not received, but we have spent $6.7 million. Spending the money before we get it. Now we're forced to sit here and take money out of account that we really shouldn't be taking money out of because we at that rainy day part where we're barely gonna see if we can make payroll through the end of September. So while everybody's sitting up here talking about we've been lying, they been, they lying, I ain't took no first class fight. It's a warrant list to have, we didn't pay for the township um, conference. Why the hell is we paying for the township conference? That's because they swipe their card so much, they be forgetting what, are they working for the township or are they working for the village of Nevertheless, I, I'm voting because I know that it needs to be paid. My personal thought is they wouldn't get shit. But I have to do what's right for the community. And I have to do what's right for the people that go out and serve us every day. So yes, I am going to vote for it, but I want everybody to know that the mismanagement of this administration is beyond absurd. I have a quick discussion on this. Go ahead. Um, I just heard you say that you appoint people and no one can fire them. <laughs> I can appoint a deputy clerk and you illegally fired her. Oh. So oh. I don't understand what applies to you should apply to me. Uh, because what you don't understand is I am the head of the village. You it are doesn't not. Matter. You are the you clerk. Don't, I oh, don't no, report on. to you, you there. Me. You just asked me enough, and I'm giving you. you the answer. So at the end of the day, you already know that that's in court. So to go back and forth with you as in court doesn't make any sense. But I'm telling you the facts so that you will understand the how and why it happens and how it works. But, but nobody wants to do it. Right Everybody wants to sit here to and be over someone else's position. I ran to lead, not follow. Especially people that ain't got no vision. I don't do that. I ran to lead. And you guys keep wanting to tell me what to do. We're not doing that. So I just want to say that 
we don't want to bicker and argue in front of you all, and we are trying to save the community, but this spending and this mismanaging is just out of control. And that's why you see us trying to have a liquidation sale and sell everything because <laughs> they've spent it all. Thank you. I can't wait till the truth come out. I swear I can't. But anywho, anywho. Mayor, okay, I, have one, uh, I, have one, I got one point of clarity. It don't make no sense that you, you're considering layoffs uh, due to you claiming financial, but yet you're picking people that don't make half the salary as a lot of other people because you're supposed to start at the top, work your way down. But yeah, you pick people that in the clerks, they make what, $15 an hour? Like make this make sense of how you guys are trying to handle this. And you know, like I know, you guys have the authority to put anyone on administrative leave. You don't have the authority to remove anybody that I appoint. So I just want to clear this up for the public because everybody got everybody, y'all roused up. And like I said, y'all want to be in control so big. Y'all added all this stuff to the agenda, but you didn't add this thing. And then you put my, my report at the very end. Why is that? But this is yeah, stuff that I'm talking about. This is talking about. This is stuff I'm talking about. So you got to let me do what I'm supposed to do and get my report. Like I get y'all the flow on this general announcement. And I say whatever y'all want to say about whatever y'all got going on. And then I get the opportunity to do the same. But yeah, you guys want to put it at the end as though I am not the leader of this. So, is there a motion uh, regarding the personnel matters? Uh, Motion to approve the personnel matters listed on um, agenda item M, items M, glasses, M, A through L. All right. Is there a second? All right. Um, because we was in closed session, we cannot really discuss it. Uh, but I will make a statement for the record. Um, I already told the Board of Trustees that this is political retaliation. This is targeting and they should not um, target these individuals to try to lay them off. Um, I also told them that they will be sued for doing so, um, but yet they still choosing to pick these people, which they said Keith Freeman gave them. So make sure y'all had him and y'all also um, to target just these individuals. Um, normally when you do layoffs or consider layoffs, you normally go, you meet with uh, management staff and you go line by line or you go over things or what people can make cuts at and do things to make it make sense. Right now, people are uh, voting with their emotions and they're not being wise as it relates to handling the business, and allowing the business to handle them. So again, I am totally against this. Uh, as you know, um, I told them y'all do what y'all think y'all can do and I'm going to do what I need to do. So they're going to vote for it. But again, these people will still be employed here in the village of Dalton. So I'm just making sure that everyone is crystal clear of that. So when it happens, you understand the why. Okay, okay clerk. Mayor, I, have, um, I have a comment. For the oh, you got a comment now. Huh? Yes. Go ahead. All right. So the layoffs, uh, the layoffs are due to financial issues that the village of Dalton has. Um, I did mention already that managers who may have spoken up asked that we do not include their names for fear of retaliation. Uh, so there's uh, so trying to um, insinuate that Freeman is the one that gave us this incorrect. This can, this decision came about because our finance uh, our finance consultant, the CPA firm, let us know that we are in dire need and layoffs need to happen. This is a uh, I hate to say this because I don't want to cause a big panic, um, but this is a starting point because we are finally starting. We are finally beginning to get information because for months and months we would indicate that. We don't have financials. We haven't had it for seven months, eight months, nine months. So I know many people heard that. So this this meeting is the first time you hear Trustee Belcher and us reference financials that we've started to get in review. And we got a lot of that information due to the um, investigation by former Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Uh, so that information is, is the reason for many of the actions taken this evening with credit card spending as well as um, this beginning of some of the layoffs. Uh, it's unfortunate. There's a lot of there's a lot more that we have to do. Um, so we're starting to create to identify the picture and we have to identify a plan forward. And unfortunately, this is part of that plan. All right. And I just want to clear some up that he just stated. He stated that um, Keith Freeman was not the one that gave it to him. And I quote, trustee Kiana Belcher stated that they got this list from Keith Freeman. So. I wish y'all can listen to the tapes down a closed session and you would hear her say that's who gave y'all this list. So again, this is targeted. Y'all targeting individuals and that's not right. I still believe you guys should go to the drawing board and figure it out, whatever it is. Again, 
The mayor had no say so in this. They just did what they wanted to do. And you're supposed to sit here and talk about things of importance, such as a layoff, because at the end of the day, this is somebody's livelihood that you guys are playing with. Y'all can point fingers, place flame, do whatever you feel you need to do. But at the end of the day, you guys still are going about it the wrong way. And you should not pick individuals because they don't follow your orders or don't put in. I think the board should be wiser and um, speak up about um, what it is. May I be recognized? And it's not going off the list that was provided to us. That is my opinion of it. Go ahead. Okay, so when you quote me, make sure you do it right. I stated inside of executive session, which you want to bring it up anyway, that uh, we had a meeting with Kasperic's office, which is Lauren, and this was the advice of the uh, accounting firm. By way of email, it came from Keith Freeman. Oh. Now, what's crazy to me is that one minute you do the day-to-day -day operations, one minute keep do the day-to-day -day operations. So it's it's when it when it fits your agenda. So the common sense and the math tells us that we're overpaying. So if we can continue to get services done with less people, so that we can make sure that we can get ourselves out of this financial rut. That's what we have to do. It's not personal. You, she sit here and act as if we're not in a deficit, but let's not forget, guys, just 30 minutes ago, we were voting on TIF money that we need to transfer. So if we are voting to transfer money that we're not even supposed to be touching, that means we're in dire need. And because we're in dire need, we're saying, hey, we have to make the tough decisions at the moment because she, they're hiring, having a hiring fence. We look up, and every time I come into this village, I see someone that I don't even know. They continue to ignore the budget. Like now, we don't even have a budget. How is it that the administration haven't provided us with a budget when this was supposed to be voted on and turned into the state as of now? So these are the issues that we're running into. They're doing things the wrong way, and then they need us to fix it and clean it up. So they're hiding the information, and then they're saying, hey, voila, by the way, we're in a deficit. Don't fire anyone, though, and I'm going to keep spinning, by the way. And it's unfair. Say, I grew here. They flew here. Everybody that been here, like I've been, you know where the village was, and you know where is that current. And you know for a fact that we didn't have everything on Sibley possible, from Ponderosa to Red Lobster to White Hand Pantry. Everything was in our city is why a majority of us moved to this community. But to see it just constantly um, be attacked because people can't have their way, people can't tell you what to do, it, it's saddening. It really is. Because, again, I tell you, I got a five-year-old daughter that's going to grow up in the same community that I grew up in. And I want her, just like I want your kids, to have things that they can run to and grow from and have memories. For instance, the rink. They can go to the rink and actually now they got a memory for life to say, hey, I went to the rink and I skated outside. They got that memory. I went down the street and I played basketball where it's three different courts, three. One for the babies, one for the, the middle kids, and one for the adults. Three different courts with adjustable rims. These are the things that we should be talking about, but we're not. So I say this to you because I be wanting the news to show another narrative, show another side. But unfortunately, they just with the negative side that keep the clicks going for their networks. And that's sad because some people watch the news because they believe in the news. I do not believe in the news. That's why I call them fake news, because they only report negativity. If somebody goes and does an interview with the news that's positive, they do not play it on the news. They only want to hear somebody saying something negative about a person. And that's sad, because when do we forget that we are all human? When do we forget that we live here? When the cameras go and the smoke clear, we have to still rebuild our community. I say this time and time again, you're going to always hear my mouth on it, whether you want to hear it or not, because we have to do better as a community, and we have to unify the community, not come here with mess. And sometimes people just got to open their ears and eyes and listen to what's going on in our town, because it's so much good that's going on, it get overshadowed by the negativity. And again, if anybody need help, fight, Quiet, gas, water. Anything like that, because that's why people really mad. I am your supervisor through a township. You can come over there and get help with those things. And that's something the news should be advocating and showing y'all, but they do not. And if you're struggling with your mortgage or your rent, you can call us, 708-596-6040, and get help with these things. But no one wants to do it. 
No one wants to tell you that, but when you see me or I'm at your door and I give you this information, you go get the help. So that's why I'm saying that everybody not into the mess or the clicks. It's really communities uh, like ours that really need the help that they are getting from us. Another announcement. Yeah, this one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, because I, I and I have no clue how I'm how I missed this. Um, uh, uh, we did talk, we did discuss or mention recently that the board has started receiving financial information due to some of the investigative, uh, the special investigation, former Mayor Lightfoot. Um, we are pleased to announce that this Thursday, September, uh, Thursday, August 8th, 630, Dalton Park District, she will be giving her presentation of initial findings. Uh, so please all come out to get that. Um, so many, many of the issues brought up today were uh, kind of some of the snippets of what we got and a lot of greater detail will be provided. So uh, that's my announcement. Thank you. Okay. At what point, at what point will we, as a people, who say we're people of God, will come together and come with vision? We hear a lot of excuses, but no adjustments. Tell, tell the people how many ordinances you, you've written as a trustee, Jason, since you've been sitting there. I can ask Brittany. Tell him how many trips he didn't went on okay. the credit card. Okay. Okay. Right. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Okay. If you read your collective bargaining agreement, you know that's in the mayor's collective bargaining agreement. If you read your your collective bargaining agreement, you are a part. Okay. Time. Let okay. them tell it. You are part. Okay. Time. Trust, trust me. Trust me. You are out of order. We okay. have the floor. If it's me, if it's me. Well, I gave you an opportunity to say. I gave you an opportunity to say your piece. I think it's fair, and it's unfortunate. A lot of us are old, but we're not mature. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we, we have this age, but we don't have maturity. Quiet. So I just want to make it clear. Absolutely clear. Ma'am. If I did not get another dime from this village because I believe in the vision of this leader, I would come here and volunteer. No. Yep. I would come here and volunteer. Well, on, let me tell you why. Yep. Let me tell you why. Okay. Okay, part-time hecklers, let me tell you why. Okay, you part -time, part -time, part -time hecklers, let me tell you why. Trust Officers, me. Please stop. Let me tell you why. Because there are residents that call that phone every single day. Okay, I'm here at 7.30 in the morning yep. to whatever time it is it takes to get the job done. That's, right. That's what a true leader does. True. That's what a true leader does. So because of the residents that deserve this type of service, I will be here because it's more than life than just money. It's more than life than just money. It's changing people's lives. And that's what we're doing. And so I'll say this, the money that you say that we don't have, how is it, how is it that you paid a attorney this money that you say we don't have? Bingo. Okay, Bingo. So Bingo. where do you Bingo. get the money Bingo. from? Like everybody else, like you're waiting on that okay. interest fee. You so out of order. You do stuff for clickbait. Stop. He has the floor. This don't make no sense that you sit here letting him do that. Did y'all let him do that? Let me do that. Let me do that. This is not out of order, trustee. It don't make no sense that you're talking. He has the floor. Y'all have the floor. Y'all say whatever y'all wanted. He has the floor. Go ahead. Let me finish with this. I forgive you because you know not what you do. But let me tell you. Let me tell you, and I admonish you, that God shall not be mocked. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. So, uh, Keith Freeman, I know you're watching. You no longer works for the village of Dalton. Uh, please uh, turn in your keys, turn in all your stuff. A child reach out to you tomorrow as it relates to uh, your fire. Come out I don't know what to do, so I leave it out to you. I just you got it.